The first half of 2010 has shown different perspectives for millions of Americans who have been unemployed or underemployed. Some feel that the situation is improving, while for others, it's just getting worse. I see more movement, more jobs are coming up, you know. From, from personal experience with my friends that have lost jobs, I see some of them getting jobs back. As far as I, I work for Verizon, and they're uh, looking to get rid of 10,000 employees. So that makes me think it's not getting better. So it's really hard to tell. I don't see any difference, and I'm, I mean, I'm a teacher, and like there's so many layoffs that are about to happen, supposedly, and I'm hoping that they don't happen. So if they don't, then you know maybe I can say yes, there is a difference. But for right now, this like New York City in itself is just really in terrible state right now. So well, I've been um, out of work for like two years because of the budget cuts and a lot of places are not hiring. And plus, it's hard, especially if you don't have like a degree or something like that. Another concern for the unemployed is that it's already past June 6, and they haven't received any good news about an extension of the unemployment benefits which means that millions of Americans who have been out of the workforce longer than 99 weeks may have to go down to the welfare line very soon. When I get unemployment, and they cut off half of my unemployment, so I'm not getting the amount that I'm supposed to get. You know, and I think it sucks, really. For every one of them, these past two years have been an emotional roller coaster. They have searched for jobs, taken training programs, and gone to interviews, but they are still out of work. It's really hard to get a job now, really hard. So even McDonald's is not hiring. So that's how bad it is, you know? 